Welcome to JT Gatoring. So this week the weather was not in my favor. I was not able to get the John boat out. So instead we're going to do a product video for this week's video. Um, it's going to be on boots. So I first started off with a pair of redhead lace-up boots. I think they're about 10 inches tall and um, had them for about 10 years. Still good boots, still working, took care of them, but I'm getting tired of lacing them up and lacing them down. After using pull-on rubber boots for fishing and game processing and then using pull-on boots for the firehouse for our gear and for station boots. Um, the whole lacing up thing is I'm, I'm starting to get lazy so I want a pair of pull-on work boots what they needed to be was main thing was waterproof and I had to be able to pull them on uh, I didn't want just a pair of rubber boots I wanted a, a good working leather pair so after looking around it seemed like really the only ones would be like a western style boot started looking and I figured a a uh, safety toe wouldn't be a bad thing either so that was my two big things I wanted a waterproof boot and safety toe would be nice um, I didn't want a shorter pair I wanted a little longer probably from 10 to 12 inches nothing too short um, but after that uh, I just started looking around and I tried ordering a few pairs off of I think it was workboots.com uh, they're great to deal with, but if this is my first time with a Western pair of boots, and it was awful trying to get the size right just off of ordering online. So I went into a store, it was Russell's Western Wear, went in there, got fitted, and I tried on two different uh, brands. It was mainly Justin and Ariat. There's a few others, but they're more expensive and for my first pair of boots I didn't know how long they would last and I wanted to just give them a try. So the Justins actually fit my foot a little better. I do have a wide foot and um, their wide square toe was wider or seemed wider than the Ariat so that's why I went with the Justin boot. So I got a square toe that was another thing that I needed for the boot was a square toe. I didn't want a point because I wanted to gain as much uh, width as I could get for the boot. And one thing that I did not know is that for a wide boot, um, it doesn't go wide for the foot pattern, like from here to here. The wide is actually like more uh, girth on top. It's not the actual the width. So a wide boot in this just means a, a thicker, you get a little bit more wide there. So it's not wide here, it's wide in the throat here. So I didn't need a wide boot in this, but I wanted the square toe here so I get as much width here. Um, so square toe, waterproof, and then uh, the safety toe would be nice. For the safety toe, there, there's composite, there's steel, and I think there's one other one. Um, the only thing about being in water a lot was the steel. I thought maybe rust or get nasty over time, so I thought the composite would be the better option if I could pick that. So just for a comparison size of other uh, shoes, my last boot was a 10 and my normal running shoe size is a 10 and a half wide. The boot was also a 10 wide. Um, and these boots, I'm an eight and a half. So they are considerably smaller than how other boots run. So for me, it's about a size and a half to two sizes down. So my normal running shoe is 10 and a half. These are eight and a half. So after getting sized, I figured I needed a Justin. They fit my, my foot a little better. I needed a wide square toe. Not wide as in the boot, but just a, a square toe. And then they needed to be waterproof and a safety toe would be nice. So 
I went on Justin's website and I put in those parameters and I wanted the most plain Jane boot I could find. Just a simple design, work boot, not too expensive, uh, simple parameters. So this was the boot that I came up with. Um, actually seems to be a pretty popular boot. Um, and I'll go ahead and read off some of the uh, details of this boot. So this is the Justin Original Work Boot. It's 11 inches tall, waterproof, composite, square toe. WK4625. Uh, key features again, composite safety toe, waterproof. It also has a electrical hazard rating. Um, I don't know if I would benefit from that or not, but it's in there. And then uh, oil and slip resistant sole that is non-marking. And then of course it has a bunch of other uh, sales features from Justin about comfort. Now again with the composite toe instead of steel, um, I was going to be in water a lot. I didn't know if the steel would rust and get nasty over time. And then another thing that I did try on in the store that I did not notice a big difference was weight. There's really no big difference in weight from steel to composite that I felt. Um, and then another positive of the composite toe is that um, it won't transfer heat and cold as much as a steel toe would. So that may be another thing to consider. Now another thing that's there is like uh, on the back it's almost like a kick plate but there's no plate it's just it looks like another piece of leather. It stands out a little bit but um, that way you can sort of kick them off and you don't have to worry about busting up the back of them as bad. Now another thing that I would look into after purchasing this pair of boots and I should have looked into it earlier because this was a big problem with my other boots was the tread pattern. Um, these aren't as deep of a tread pattern as my other boots but um, they still collect mud. So as of right now it's been one week. Uh, the boots have, they've been pretty comfortable from the start. Um, I'll bend them every now and then when I go to put them on and they, they feel pretty good. And um, the only thing that I dislike is the yellow. If they didn't have the yellow around here, have the, the Justin mark right there that's yellow. Um, I know they got a brand, but still, um, with, with time, mud should cover that yellow up and it shouldn't stand out as much but it's a good looking boot just that yellow orange I don't like the way that stands out um, that's the only thing um, so far they're still waterproof I mean it's only a week we'll see how long they last they do crinkle a little bit you can tell that that uh, waterproof liners in there uh, we'll see how long that holds up the leather does seem a little soft they've I haven't been rough on them I'm normally pretty easy with boots as my last pair lasted at least 10 years. Um, they are taking a beating and they seem to be scuffing up a lot more than my other boots. I do have some cleaning supplies and uh, polish and all that coming on the way so that'll be another video. But um, I just wanted to make this video to show you what these boots look like and how they started off and how they're going to end up in six months or a year. Simple review. Just wanted to put a review out these for, for these boots so people who are interested in a work boot, a pull-on work boot, they have something to look at. So, hope you enjoyed the video. There will be more videos out. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. See you around. Thank you for watching. This is JT Gatoring.
can't really see down in there, can you? They have a little bit of a, uh, it's a leather uh, rub on the back of your heel. So that way it doesn't wear out as much. It's not right at the bottom of the heel. It's almost like your uh, Achilles tendon. It's a little bit higher up from the heel, but it's a leather patch in there. Um, straps are in there good. I normally like the holes. I like the holes a lot better for putting them on, but these will work just fine. 